Patrick. Hey, Patrick. 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 Hello. Hello. Megalodon Express. Three parts. You Imagine YouTube, your you hair with three parts. Version because copyright reasons of AXC fool and conversion of this and other things. You have to Patreon or channel memberships. I'll put a link in the description below and the pin comment so you can go check that out. And at the end of the part, we will talk about the movie and review it. We will. Let's finish this movie, huh? Okay. Yes, I'm all up <laughs> Dr. Daniel, I know you want us to hand over all the cocaine, but we need to trust you as well. आपको तकलीफ के लिए सॉरी लेकिन फटी तो हमारी भी बहुत है थैंक यू फॉम रिकॉर्ड्स बच्चा बन के आया था बन के आया I'm going to take her on a date or full filmy style me I love you Kendra lekin na tu Nisha ko bhul ja lekin na Nisha koi hai hi nahi Sam nahi Nisha hai <laughs> oh god what tu serious ho gaya aur main thoda carried away ho gaya wow lekin fir bhi main kabhi aisa sex talks ko encourage nahi kiya नौकरी मिली क्या But what's the date? Yeah, I didn't tell him the date. Ah, rich dodo baby, let's go to Vegas. <laughs> <Hello>. <laughs> <laughs> sequel in Vegas, baby. Yeah, do a sequel in Vegas. Abhi Bangalore pahunchao seedha ghar ja raha hu. Hello? Phone kiska? What does that mean? Explain that to me please. Yeah, I don't know. None of that voice. Um Aaj dance karenge yaar. Chahe bhi jis mein char chalo sharam ko gol yahi baar. Shabash. Shabash. Make sure there's nothing else here. Yeah. yeah. No, nope, nothing else. Woo! Man, that was fun. Yeah. That's gold. Yeah, that's a gold. That kid is gold. Um What a fun movie, man. That, that's up there with like all the Tamil black comedies. It re seen. yeah, it's up there with all the Nelson like, stuff. The Nelson, it and really the, is, and the other uh, black comedies. I'm, I'm just seen. putting in my phone that I have to add that to the list. Like so. the like the VJ uh, Sethupathi black comedy as well, which wasn't Nelson, but um, the Suli, the one where he had the magic yeah. girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but same same level of hilarity. Yeah, and, and it, it doesn't ever t it doesn't ever drop oh, off. Oh no, it it just keeps going. One of the brilliant things is one. It's because it's uh, great writing, and I'm. It's only the stuff that we've caught of the stuff that we've seen. I'm sure there was a lot more like inside uh, jokes as sure, well that sure, we didn't sure, catch because sure. we didn't see certain things. Or yeah, 
it might be in Hindi or whatever. Um, but it felt like an homage to a lot of old comedies, especially road trip comedies um, of the Hindi industry. Um, but what it would do is it wasn't like trying to recreate those. Like, no, it, 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 you'd be doing one of the great things that you can do in today's comedy since a lot of people have seen everything done before. Like right. Every story has been told. Right. Now you just need to find a creative way to tell it again. Right. Um, and so what they did is they kept putting you in scenarios where like, you're like, oh, I know what you're doing. And then they would punch you in the face. <laughs> be like, nope, we're going over here. Yeah. Uh, and they did that like every like did it all the time. five minutes. Yeah. Uh, and then they would obviously play on the, the tropes of Bollywood and like when he started having this big momentous speech at the at the train station or just there's so many different things that happened it had like deli belly vibes and hangover vibes even had, doctor vibes a few times yeah 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 um and, 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 and hangover vibes yeah hangover vibes yeah it had a um and then uh, yeah ludo and so yeah, I see some Ludo connecting. Uh, yeah, like it's even funnier than Ludo, though. I and, agree, and I love Ludo. This had some. This had literally like twenty laugh out loud moments. Yeah, where I was, I was laughing hard. I mean, the last time I laughed that many times in a film was when I saw Deadpool Wolverine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I haven't seen that yet. Yeah, uh, this was to... this was a joy. I um, I love this movie. This is his directorial debut. Wow, and he wrote it. Yeah, and it's a. Um... Great job. I'm guessing he's an actor. So that Kun, Kunal, say his name? Kenmu. I think he's an actor. Looks like he's an actor. Okay. Um, well, boy, what a wonderful debut. Um, but to be this be your first directorial debut. Yeah. And it'd be one of the fun. Like, we, we've we been talking about, like, we just watched that round table, obviously, with um, all of them and talking about, you know, the Hindi industry kind of not doing as well. I don't know, man. Look at the four best Hindi films of the year. Right. Twelfth Fail. Twelfth Fail. If you want to consider that this year, I think it came out late December. But regardless, yeah. Twelfth Fail, Lapa de Ladies. Right. Kill. Yeah. And this. Yeah. What do all those kind of have in common? One, very original. Very original. Very original. But well also- Well executed. Like, almost no and, names. No names and, and all very, very different genres. Yeah. No name. Uh, Vic Vic Pro Messi was going to be your biggest star sure. of all of them. Sure, I, I believe. Sure, um, but not nobody here who's a, who's a huge box office draw. Yeah, Vic Pro Messi is obviously the one that's getting the closest which, to, to something like that, which clearly helped production. It'd be interesting to see if they had some names they wanted and did what Karan Johar and and yeah. particularly Zoya said, which is don't pay them. So, and I think all these films did very well box office. I hope wise. so. And I know this one did well. I know so a lot of people really enjoyed this one. Uh, it didn't come here, I don't believe. Because uh, I, I, I remember when the trailer came here, I mean, it came out. and we, fun we, movie. We were, we were like, oh, that looks like a lot of fun. Hopefully we get it. A yeah. lot of it was very situational. I'm sure there was even more like actual like Hindi dialogue or slang or whatever that, that we didn't get. But a lot of it was just situational and just fucking hilarious. Just hilarious. This just is silly fun. This is a hilarious movie. And what made um, it, what makes it funny, and what most comedies do that make it funny, is here's here's the difference of the comedies that we like versus comedies, for example, like say Street Two, mm. when the people in the situations don't know what they're doing is funny. Yeah, that's the funniest. Yeah, when you're laughing at the fact that it's so ridiculous and they can't even perceive how ridiculous it is. And when people are playing on the ridiculousness of it and doing ha ha, that. Doesn't yeah. hit. Um, it, it could have been very bad because, like, um, uh, say his name right here. Um, uh, oh yeah, Devyendu Sharma. He could have uh, been a train wreck. He could have been a train wreck because he was over the top. I mean, it was it was it's a crazy game. And then obviously, um, um, well, everybody. Uh, yeah, his buddy who's constantly getting messed up. Which one is it? Is it him? Yeah, yeah. Pr Pratak uh, Gandhi, right? Yeah. Um, he him is the same kind of thing. Like there's times if he's not doing it right, if especially he's, the cocaine. If he's playing to the shtick, yes, it's gonna be like, oh, it's again. What makes the cocaine thing so funny is it's so damn believable. Yeah, he's doing a great job. He's of doing it. a great job making you think that he's tripping out on on an OD yeah, of cocaine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hats off to the director because you had to research. That's what makes uh, it funny. Exactly what you'd uh, be going through. In yeah, a, in that kind of scenario, <laughs> his jaw. <laughs> he's just tweaking. Oh, um, and everything was great. And there's so many scenarios of like, um, it, it, it poking fun at Bollywood itself or like old Indian cinema of just the random, 
uh, romance numbers coming along, or the or the dumb gangster, yeah, or and, the, and paying homage to like MBBS and, and stuff what like makes, that. For example, one of the things that makes that boob squeak so <laughs> funny is that neither one of them really acknowledge it. <laughs> they just bump their boobs and it goes, <laughs> and they keep going there was about a lot, their business. There's a lot of good uh, sound effect. Uh, humor in there. Great and, sound effects humor. And also use of the score to add yes. to a lot of some, some of the comedy. Great score. I thought the songs were not only entertaining, but so wonderfully placed when everybody's having a fantasy about somebody else. Mm -hmm. um, the accompanying comedy of sound effects, yeah. which again, weren't that buffoonery. Doesn't it, always it, work. It accentuated the reality and it doesn't always work, but it was really, really well done. Uh, what is her name? And so much stuff that you don't see coming, like them having that dumb fight. What? Argentina girl. Yeah, that we said we recognized. Lapita ladies. Oh, okay. Auntie. That's where we recognized her from. <sighs> yeah. I was it was bothering I, me. Yeah, me too. I knew we had seen her. And then th this gentleman, what were you saying? Sorry, go on. I don't remember. Uh, yeah, we've seen him in quite a few things. Um, uh, say his name. Yeah, Upendra Lamai. Yeah, we've seen him in many things. Um, I, I recognize him. And Healy, he's an interesting looking guy. Oh, Baji Rao. In theater on as well. Okay. Huh. The doctor. Um, was, uh, he was in it. Uh, oh, he played one, uh, hallucinated druggie. Hallucinated Is he druggie. the guy that sold them the drugs? This, was that his cameo? Is he the guy that gave them, he was at the oh. bar and gave them the gummies? Maybe, yeah, yeah. That might, might have be been right. his cameo. Might be, he might be right there. Uh, 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 he was in Go Go Gone, was he? Huh, I'm trying to remember that. Where are we going? I'm going to go there from there. I'm going to go there. Now I'm going to go there. I know there's a lot of uh, references to that film, Dil Chata High. A um, uh, lot of just music reference, Farhan references. <laughs> I guess Farhan's, I mean, is there anybody more influential in Indian cinema for buddy road trip movies than... Yeah. than than Farhan and his sister. Um, I mean, they uh, kind of reinvented that that entire genre um, that people. But yeah, the fact that I mean, I know like people are talking about like especially the bigger films in the Hindi industry um, not doing well or yeah. at, at times. But I feel like audiences want originality. Um, and they want different. And the four films, at least in the Hindi industry, obviously Street 2, I know, did is <laughs> extremely well. And so that, that doesn't really apply to what I'm saying here. But the other ones of Lapita Ladies, this one, um, um, I don't know how Kill is doing, but um, in 12 Fail. Yeah, I don't know how Kill did. I don't know how it did. Um, but it uh, the originality of all those is... Is great, fantastic. I, I All they, four of those are are either gold or platinum. And you you kind of have a a, a theme there of originality, and yeah. also just nobody got paid forty crores of exactly <laughs> of the budget. Exactly. Uh, it's so a you, nice. It's a nice. Hopefully, trend. Uh, and hats off to Farhan for and uh, Rat, uh, yeah, Ritesh Sidwani. Sidwani for for producing something like absolutely. this absolutely, um, and taking kind of the the risk because I don't, I know like. Horror comedy is a big genre in, in Indian cinema um, and has been for a while. It's probably going to pop off even more now because it of Street will. 2. But uh, it's been a genre that they've, they've liked a lot. But I, I don't know if like the regular comedy genre has died down like it has here. Right. Um, in Hindi. Right. Because uh, like it's a big thing in Hollywood. They don't, you just don't, big studio comedies just aren't made anymore. Unless it's IP like Deadpool. Um and it's awful. It is. Uh, hopefully, you're going to start seeing a shift because audiences want it. Of course. People want to go to the movies and laugh and have a good time. <laughs> um, and people are highly tired of superhero movies. Yeah. <laughs> At least the stereotypical superhero movies. Yeah. But um, to have something like this that's so creative, everybody did so well. Yeah. It, it was such an engaging, fun story. So much... So much fun. Stupid comedy. Yep. And... Maybe maybe some people don't like that. Like just like there's there's because not all of it is that, but there's a lot of the just like that's so stupid. And yeah, I love well, it. Well, it's the same reason some people don't like the Three Amigos. Yeah, it's just not yeah. their cup of tea. But I, I get it. I love it. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> and I particularly love the, it's it's Groundlings style of comedy where you don't play the comedy, you play the situation, and the situation, if it's written well, is inherently funny. 
most great comedy works that way. It has since I love Lucy. And that's what's the funniest part about this whole thing is that none of these people know what's going on is funny. Yeah. But it's hysterical. Yeah. Hats off to, um, uh, this was the third thing I guess we've seen of his. Um, he did a great job. He did. Uh, it's a very risky character if you if you don't pull it and off. Not easy. Comedy is hard to do. And yes, especially when it's like that. You could be a sh you could be like oh he was way too over the top yeah. there and uh, well there's a but several roles in this thing could have just been trash if the right actors weren't doing the roles. Railway man. He wasn't railway man. Uh, we were right. We were right. Yeah, okay. that's where we last saw him. Um. So so that's the three things we've seen him in. Right? Is yeah. he's a per. Railway man, man and this. And then this. Hands off to him. Uh, I'd like to see him. Was he in Boo? Oh, he's prank caller number four. <laughs> yeah, great. That's a great credit on the resume. <laughs> Phone boot. How was that movie? Is that one that we should watch in October? It's coming up right now. Yeah. I heard We're it. We're about it, to enter Halloween. I heard it was kind of fun. You guys can let us know there. Um, but, man, that was so much fun. I always get so nervous with the comedy. Me too. Uh, just in, Not because I don't love comedies. I love comedies. It's just... Sometimes the translation is terrible. I even saw it in this. They said something, and they said something completely different. And um, I'm sure there was actually a lot of cussing in this as yeah. well. That probably I don't know why they don't add cussing to subtitles. Like I know. That. Do you know why that is? I don't know. Like it I happens a lot. It happens a lot. Like that movie with uh, Nasir and um, uh, Circuit. Yeah. They say yeah, it's, it's, it's supposed to be raunchy. It's raunchy. Well, and it doesn't just happen in Indian films. I've watched films because everything we watch, we just leave the subtitles on. And I've seen things happen even with American films. It's like, that's not what he said. Yeah. I don't know why. I don't know why they do that. Um, I, I, that'd be actually so fun if you guys did a, a sequel. But yeah, like the, the larger thing, I mean, it doesn't bother me so much. I wish the stuff that goes over our heads, we could catch, yeah. obviously. The larger part for me is the buffoonery versus situational comedy yeah the buffoonery nine times out of ten is never gonna work for me um <laughs> i love the fact that we didn't know who his girlfriend was i know like that's such a silly thing to not it's tell the spectacular. audience like you're like what if we just never show her yeah <laughs> yes 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 <laughs> that's it's a, amazing it's an amazing choice why wouldn't you like who would you like think of like that there's like not show her. Yeah, we'll just let everybody wonder <laughs> oh, who, who why, that was. Why wouldn't we show her? Just cause. Just cause. <laughs> <laughs> and like these big massy fight scenes and uh, stupid gangsters and it was like such a beautiful homage to like Hindi comedy. Um, man, they need to make more like this. Yeah. Um, hey, you have set yourselves up for a sequel in Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> hey, if you're filming in Vegas though. Do it, do it in Vegas. Call us. And there's got to be six degrees of separation. You've got to be able to somehow tie Hire in, <laughs> tie in some type of cameo in the midst of the bedlam, where you've got some of the guys, if not all of them, from The Hangover. I don't know if they could afford that. It would be great if they just did it. Like six degrees of separation. Somebody knows somebody and says, "Hey, they want to give a tip of the cap. Would you do it?" I would love that. Uh, Even if it's just Mike Tyson. <laughs> but don't spend like 200 crores on your on, on the budget. Here. That's the problem if they did do a sequel is the, the expense of location would be astronomical comparatively. Yeah. Goa versus Vegas. Yeah, they might, the cost of filming would be through the roof. Yeah, I don't know how you would do that. You'd have to probably do it like... I don't know actually how it'd be interesting to talk to um, some directors. Like, are if they're filming in the United States, are they classified as a non union project? Yeah, if they were filming in the US, yeah, yeah they probably would be classified as a non union project. Right? Well, I think it depends. It would depend on what they're looking to do in advance. Because there's, there are, for example, you only need to do the externals technically. In the, true, in but the, if you remember, Kufia was supposed to originally have some filming done in yeah, LA. Yeah. That fell under the one world rule. Yeah. Not non not non union. Yeah. So you can get union people yeah. to work in these films because they're technically one world. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, you, you could bring the cost down by just you. You have to film externals in in Vegas if you did it. In you got Vegas. to. But you could recreate casinos or hotels. Yeah, or, you could. Or, or different you different could. places in India. Yeah, but a yeah. lot of the externals you'd have to have some shots that are Vegas. And there's no Vegas place centric. like it. There's no, no place like it. No. 
Uh, anyways, or just leave it the way it is. It's totally fine because I, I I think it's an absolute brilliant, brilliant film. A lot of fun. Uh, one of my favorites of the year. Me too. E- easily. One of my favorites of the year. Uh, I mean, now and I, one of my favorite comedies of all time. I don't know if uh, at the end of the year when we do the uh, our, our favorites or the dummies or whatever, if Twelfth Veil vale, because I th- that was, did we include that last year in the dummies or did we watch I have it to go after back the and dummies? Look, I, I don't know. I feel like we watched it in December. No, but we, I don't know. No, we didn't. We watched it in January because we watched three films that would have been in uh, the Dummies in January after we did the Dummies. And it was so, 12 Fail, Cough so of the 12 Core. So 12 Fail. I know Cough of the Core is 2024 watch. 12 Fail, Cough of the Core. And the three. And, and um, there was one other one. Uh, that, that, Let's see. Um, OSR movie list. Oh, you're talking about the, the with, um, with Jai Deep. Yeah. Yeah, those are the three. So let me look at the beginning of the but year. But those are technically 2023 films. Right. But we did not include any of them because we right. didn't watch them. Yep. Tw- there, there they are. Um, it was the three yeah. films we watched. The second film of the year was Cough of the Core. Mm-hmm. Right after that was 12th. Fa- look at this. Look at these films. So we watched Cough of the Core, 12th Fail, A Tom, and Three of Us. Great stretch right there. Yeah, it was catching up off of the what yeah we the previous year. So yeah, I don't know if that if twelfth row can be included, obviously, because it is a is a last year film. But uh, in terms of like Hindi this year, um, you got some of the le- best Hindi you got, stuff. You got at least three. Yeah, uh, if you're not including twelfth fail, um, because and that's just now. So I don't think it's a, an awful uh, year. No, um, I actually think it's quite good. And then well, you and have then there's co- kill. Yeah, that's what those three I'm talking about. Yeah. Labacha Ladies Kill and um, Twelfth Fail. This and this. Uh, and you're not including Twelfth Fail. Twelfth Fails because it's last, last year. year. I don't know if we can include it. Yeah. Um, it's not a, a new film, and then yeah. that's you got a half of the year basically still coming out. Yep. Of projects. Yep. Um, some good projects coming. You know, speaking of good projects coming, they just wrapped this week. Um. That Mani Ratnam Kamal Hassan film that we saw the first look at in January. They just wrapped? This week. This is it coming out next year? I don't know. Probably but next year. shooting wrapped. So when they gave us that first look. Well, that the part two of that, one of the directors coming out in December. I know. They're, they're not done filming. They're not even done filming. Good Lord. Anyway. Uh, wow, that was fantastic. Fantastic. Um, thank you for waiting. I know some of you have been uh, calling for us to watch this since uh, it came out. Yeah. Um, but if you saw us on YouTube, you also have a very good version because of copyright reasons. If you'd like to see a full and cut version of this and other watch alongs, you can head over to Patreon or channel membership. So I'll put a link in the description below. Pin comments, you go check that out. Let us know what our next Wee. watch along yeah. should be. Come on. Uh, from any of these people or others as well, if, if it's comedy. Um, I'm sure there was references to other comedies that we haven't seen, maybe like Hair Perry as well, or because I know that's like the, the goaded comedy of Andy Cinema. Um, but let us know what our next comedy should be. Um, let us know what you thought about the film, if you liked it, if you didn't like it, what your thoughts on it are, and anything else we need to know down below.